Welcome everyone to my channel. My name is Kane. I also go by Bonifacio. I am the owner of Bonifacio's Art Gallery, also known as Luna Art Online, which you can go to my website at lunaartonline.com. Um, so I just wanted to do a voiceover on this video. I apologize for the poor lighting of the video. You're going to notice as we progress through the painting that it's not going to be uh, very pleasing to the eye, but trust me, it was very pleasing in person. And you'll notice some wiggling going on at the camera, and it looks like my easel is actually doing the shaking, when in reality it was my camera. Anytime I'd move around, I'd bump a little bit into the uh, to the boom stand that was holding my phone and it would rock back and forth. But this was my first time attempting to paint water lilies. Um, and when I say water lilies, I mean Claude Monet's water lily series. I believe this one in particular was the one that he painted in 1904. And he has many of them out there and I chose this specific one with these colors uh, so right here um, I'm blending in the colors just to kind of get that uh, real soft background with those uh, French ultramarine colors the burnt siennas um, a darkish green just kind of blend it in uh, Claude Monet, he has a really intelligent way of scumbling his colors in there. And when you get up close to the canvas, you can see many, many layers of colors. You know, when you think about the paintings in the Renaissance time, you see a lot of smooth um, transitions, if you will. Like, for example, if you're looking at a face, you'll notice that... One part of the face might have some light on it, while another part might have a shadow. And it's a real smooth transition. The skin looks real smooth. But with, um, with this impression, Impressionism style, and with Claude Monet's in particular, you can see like a swash of color and then under that one, you'll see another one. And then under that one, you'll see another one. And then you'll see a little bit of canvas. And then right next to that, you know, the colors, you, it's the same thing, but in a different pattern and different layering. So you find yourself lost in the canvas, just constantly scanning all the way around, trying to find all these interesting layers of color that he uses. Um... And so that's why, like right here, my paint looks very messy. And because of the poor lighting, it looks very, very, very wet. And that's just due to the poor lighting. It, it, it looked nothing like this in front of me. So at this point, I'm, I'm, remember, this is my first time attempting to paint water lilies and to do it in the style of Claude Monet. Um, and I was heading in the right direction. I have never tried this before. I mean, I've painted landscapes and I've been trying to hone in on my impressionist skills. Never really took any type of um, academics on learning how to paint, but this is all just from a natural artistic talent. And I say that very humbly. Um, I never thought in a million years that I'd be painting with oil paint. Um, I used to just draw when I was a kid. I would draw cars and uh, Marvel characters. and um, At times I'd try to draw faces realistically, you know, with the shades and everything like that. But this painting style right here really saved my life because um, I feel like I don't have the patience nor the time to... To try to paint something that's going to take six to eight months. Just because, you know, it needs to look very realistic. Um, this allows me to express 
my anxiety, to express my frustrations, to express my happiness, to express my just anything that's going on in my in my mind. And I can just lay the paint down and just go to the next color, lay the paint down, go to the next color. Um, and and I mean, you just be amazed how good you can get at this. The brush strokes have to be different every time. And uh, I find myself uh, putting some brush strokes down as I'm looking at the painting as if I kind of already know by second nature, <laughs> like what I'm laying down on the canvas, you know, so I'm not really being very meticulous. I'm not looking at the lily pad. OK, I have to put it exactly on this spot, just like the way I see it on the reference picture. I don't do that. As you can see, I'm just going and then I'll go get another color. Right. I'll dip my paint in there. And I just go back and forth like that. See, that was see how I was wiggling my paintbrush there a little bit. I'm just quickly trying to, to decide where I'm going to lay that paint down. And uh, that's what it's all about. It's just making those decisions on the spot and just going and rolling. Um, I remember uh, reading about Claude Monet. Uh, so when, he, when, when the Impressionist movement was... Starting off, uh, the art world didn't like it at all, you know, kind of like when rock and roll came into the into the music game. They were like, hey, that's that's not music. Same thing with these impressionists. And there was a handful of them. Um, but uh, they would I think uh, somebody was watching Claude Monet paint one of his paintings and he thought to himself, like, all I see is a mess. And he just walks away. And Claude Monet just continued painting. But little did he know, had he have stuck around until the painting was done, he would have probably been amazed. And this type of painting will probably scare you and discourage you when you're beginning because it, it that when you look at the mess, you're thinking, like, there's no way that I'm going to turn this into a beautiful painting. But I, I trust me, if you stick through it, stay committed continue painting, continue laying those brush strokes down, uh, you would be surprised. And that was the case here. So from my little experience that I have, it started off messy, but in my brain, I'm, I'm just constantly leaning forward in uh, trying to remain intuitive, trying to stick to the colors that I see. And I'm not really so much trying to be super accurate I'm just laying paint down, seeing objects as colors, shades of lights and darks. Um, and I pretty much paint with the same uh, colors. And so here it is complete. Um, I just hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time.